So in this video we will learn about how to create looping animation. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, we will create a new composition and we will call this composition as main animation as always width I'll choose 1920 but this time we are going to create looping animations so we will create this looping animation in square format so you can upload this animation on Instagram or anywhere else so for that what we will do we will do 1080 and height 1080 frame rate i'll choose 30 uh, and duration we don't need much more duration so i'll choose 10 seconds only and background color is white and simply hit ok to create this composition then because we are going to create looping animations so we have to be very accurate about our positions and etc etc so i'll hit ctrl r on my keyboard to get this grid because we need to calculate the initial frame and last frame as same and then I'll go to hit this titles affections like that. Now with the help of bouncing ball animation we will create this looping animation. So first thing we will do we will create one ellipse and I don't want any stroke over here if you want then you can choose that also but I don't need that and in fill color I'll go to choose this blue color like that and hit ok and with the help of shift I'm gonna create one ellipse. I'll select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like that then i'll select this ellipse hit enter and let's call this as ball and hit ok and this is because this is blue color i'm gonna choose this blue color only we don't need to change any color over here then we will choose this rectangle and i'll create one rectangle like that if you see this rectangle is that much long select this rectangle press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center let's make it fit align it horizontally and then align it vertically first press s for scaling option unlink this option and you can increase the size of it like that and you can increase this size also like this then i'll move this over here like so then we will go to add menu and we will use our option called repeater so whenever we are going to apply repeater as you know it will repeat this then we will go to the transform repeater and as you can see we have this position property over here on y axis i'll move this thing over here and on x axis i'll move it something like let's say 95 maybe yeah this looks good and I'm going to increase the copies up to 20 like that select this rectangle and I'll move this something like that then press as you know we have press ctrl r to open this grid and we will create one grid over here I'll zoom in a little bit and move this over here make sure that you are going to to something like that if you want to remove this title selection you can make sure that this line touches the this portion and this thing over here like that i'll use fit yep this looks good to me now i'll select this what we call this ball and select this shape layer and change the color of this i'll use pink hit enter and i'll call it as stair like that select this ball and i'll move this ball over here zoom in a little bit and make sure that it touches the ground like that now select this press y on keyboard and move this anchor point over here with the help of control snap this anchor point over here if you want to increase the scale you are free to do that i'm gonna increase it a little bit like that yep this looks good to me now i'll select my selection tool i have this what we call grid and i'll again add one grid 
and this time I'll make sure that it will touch the edge of this ball like that now we will create one bouncing animation and I want it bounce from here to here so to make that what we'll do we will hit P for position and as we if you have seen the bouncing ball animation you have know that we have to right click on it and we need to choose separate dimensions so I'll create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here like that and go to around one frame and move this thing over here and move this thing on y axis it should be here like that so as you can see i will touch this and in middle of this i want this to be bouncy so at this point i'll increase the y position like that now select the y position keyframes and hit f9 to the graph editor as you can see we will get something like this now we have to adjust the graph editor i'll select the y keyframes i'll hit f9 then i'll go to the graph editor and i'll select this handle and i'll move this over here select this handle and move this over here then i'll move this handle over here and i'll move this handle over here like that as you can see if you zoom it over here as you can see it's a little bit curved so again go to the graph editor select this graph and move this a little bit over here select this and move this a little bit over here and make it fit as you can see we will get something like that then hit page down button two times or let's say four times and again create one keyframe and in middle of it I'll move this over here so we'll get this bounciness over here let's see how this looks like that now select all the keyframes and move to around let's say 15 frames now select this press s for scaling option and unlink this option create one keyframe over here hit u now and at this point i'll make it like that and i'll increase it over here and at this point or at this point hit, select the first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v like that now select those keyframes and hit f9 hold alt and move this thing over here like that or you can move those keyframes over here so you get something like this yep now on two seconds i'll hit n because i think this is my looping point i'll move this work area over here so as you can see if i hit play button we will get this continuous loop but this is not a proper looping animations to get create a loop now as you guys know we have created this grid and this grid so let's see why i have created this now right click new and i'll create one null object and select this null one and hit enter and let's call it as cam controller and hit ok like that and now i'll hit ctrl r again to open this grid and i'll drop this grid over here for this ball and again this for this one now select this cam controller i mean select both the layers and make it apparent with this cam controller select this cam controller press p for position and create one keyframe now at this point as you can see we have to animate this thing now at this point i'll move this cam controller over here like that and now we have to make sure that this is gonna be at the edge of each and every one but let's see what we have initially now as you can see this uh, stairs is touching this what we call this grid so at this point i'll select this null i'll try to adjust and make sure that this stair is gonna touch this line and as you can see this is my ball initially if you see the frame this is ball is touching this line and this line so go over here 
and if it's not touching then we have to use this ball hit u and make sure that this ball is gonna touch this line like that and select this x position and drag it over here like that and now go to fit now if you see initially let's see our conditions are done or not this ball is gonna touch this line and this line and this tail is gonna touch this line and this line now if i see my last keyframe my conditions are same this ball is touching this line and this tail is touching this line so if i see this animation now i'll get this kind of looping animation now again if you see this is out of this composition so to get rid of that what we can do i'll create one null object i'll select this cam controller and i'll make it apparent with this null 2 and i'll select this null 2 and i'll move its position over here because now we have successfully animated this one so we don't need those things right now so i'll move them to get rid of it get out of it if you want to increase the scale so you can press p for position and you can move it at the top and you can move it over here also i'll move this a little bit over here As you can see we are getting a little bit glitch over here so we need to adjust the position of this null like this or you can increase the scale a little bit and then change the position like this so if you see this now we will get this looping bouncing ball animation hit ctrl a to select all of them and make sure that you are hitting this motion blur so it will add a little bit motion blur in your animation like that so this is our final animation and which is in the form of loop so with the help of, of that knowledge we have learned in my initial videos we can collectively use that and we can create some beautiful animations if you want to learn this kind of animations, I have created a separate playlist on my channel called as Creative Motion Graphics Series. In this playlist, you will find more than 30 plus creative motion graphic tutorials. So link is available in the description. So do check it out now.